I feel like chicken tonight. Like chicken tonight. <laughs> Welcome to a pint and two shots. Coming to you from the G4 podcast studio with part time pundit and average actor Stephen Purden and bringing a wealth of knowledge and questionable patter, it's our no nonsense dafty Chris Toll. Completing our front three, it's the man himself. All the way from the tap end of Stevenson, it's Grado! Welcome to Pay Two Shots, it's a podcast, it's a podcast, it's a football podcast. It's a podcast. Uh, Welcome to Pay Two Shots, it's a podcast. It's a football podcast. We're live here at the Pavilion Theatre in Glasgow. I know that you're dying for a t-shirt with that on it, but we're stretching it, calling it a fab- football podcast now. Hey, right? It's going to be a football podcast today, my boy. All right. Aye, we're going to talk about football right. today. I'd you like, know I, first, us, no? first of all, I, can you introduce me and tell people something? Bob and Toe. Right. <laughs> first of all, I'd like to uh, apologise for my threatening behaviour last week. Um, Brendan? I, he's, he's not done anything to make me want to apologise, but I just felt I was a wee tad over the top, you know. I mean, do you want to just go right in there? Like, let's just, I, get, I, it, let's I just get it out of the way. Like, right, because we need to cover right Scottish football and all that, you know what I mean? And uh, European football. Heavy shite, <laughs> man. Heavy, heavy shite. But I, I hate to say that I've seen this coming, but I think you will agree that I've seen it coming. We've been dreadful since the start of the season. The football that we're playing is turgid and boring. The manager is a fucking narcissist that can get the fuck away from my club as soon as possible. I, I can't stand him. That's I can't a hell stand of a way to talk, Chris. Oh, sorry, right, but see the way... In, Somebody brought us up to me, I'll no name names, but somebody brought us up to me. He's flinging people under the bus to take the to take it off his self. Take Santa. it off his self. So uh what are we gonna do at half time? Why don't we send Santa out? Send Santa out, they'll take the heat off me, no problem. <laughs> right? right? But I'll tell you this you now, he's on a hiding and nothing here. This I said a few weeks ago, this is reminding me of Lennon's season. And it's not getting any better. And That's see people thing. that are saying it's no, it's no his team, it's no his team. He didn't have to change much. He inherited a team mm. that's just won the treble, and he's taken them back three years, and it's embarrassing to watch. Is it no a bit of an overreaction here? I mean, Gregor, it's not you're unlike not watching them, mate. Well. You're not watching the matches, right? So you say like we're playing well, right? Playing good attacking football, and we're maybe getting caught on the counter and losing a game. I can understand that. But Hearts, Celtic were fucking shite. They were shite at the mm. weekend. Hearts coming to Celtic Park and winning 2-0. When was the last time you heard of that? Mm. Do you know man. what I mean? Right, and see, the thing is, Shanklin's header was a belter. But he was but just on his self. He was standing his self. Right. You're letting the top goal scorer on the week. Do you know, like was, do you know like it was like a shot how much power he got in that, man? I could to stun like that, to heed it like that without power. Exactly, I, and do you know, he's... He's been decent recently, and I, I need to give credit where it's due. Joe Hart's been all right recently. He's made a few right good saves, right? But, mm. see, that free kick was a carbon copy of Lee Griffiths mm. at Hamden. Against England. And he just, he never get near it. I, I, I saw bits as well. He was, he was copping it every time he came out and punched the ball. Mate, there was no fucking strikers in the box at one point. Mm. And a cross came in and he punched it, and I've never heard a reaction to a punch for a goalie like it. Right. I think the free kick, I don't think you can blame Joe Hart for it. It was a good free kick. It's a good free kick, but I don't... It's postage stamped, man. I, I, don't, don't, I know I, the header's got loads of power in it, right? But do you know I think he could have done better with the header? I think, maybe, he could have done better with the header, but I think you need to start pointing the finger at the defender see, first. Mate, no, fucking, see, see, mate, see the goalie's see, free kick, right? Uh, see the, see um, the free kick. To me, that is the goalie's equivalent of somebody doing the, the, the fancy run-up to a penalty. I think so. Do you get what I mean? Leaving it. As if he's gone there. A wee bit. As if, right, what have you got? There's your target. I know what you mean, I know what you mean, I know what you mean. Aye, but it's just that I'm getting fed up watching it. They're no entertaining to watch. You'll see this, right? See this Livingston game. I I realise it's coming out. You beat Livingston. I know, but it's in the Christmas period and all of that. And traditionally, stadiums are a wee bit empty around about this time of year. Mm. No, I Brooks. Mate, I'm telling you, this now, man. always full, man. That's because you just don't buy your Wayne's presents. (laughs) <laughs> it's it's gonna be it'll be like a fucking ghost town at this Livingston game I'm telling you man mm. and it, he kind of covered the cracks up a wee bit with the win against Feyenoord but he's brought a boy on that kind of got a look in the boy scored the winner and then the boy's not in the squad for the weekend is that Palmer? no uh, Lager Bielka the mm. Swedish centre half he scored the winner against Feyenoord and but surely 
the game against Feyenoord, it's a deep rubber. You're going to rotate your squad a bit. And obviously, he does not fancy Lagerbiel because a starter. Because he came in and scored, he's a centre-half, isn't he? Mm-hmm. But I mean, but you've had a bit of a consistency there with scales and that, haven't you? So obviously, he's going to the Feyenoord well, no game. Well, not particularly, no, because we've had, like, you've seen we've had Phillips in, we've had Carter Vickers has been injured. There's he's been, been injured. There's been, a lot has played at centre-half as well. You know what I mean? It's like, they just... He doesn't know his best team and see if he's that uh, we're how many months down the line? Are we four months down the line, five right. months down the line? See if you don't know your best team by then, you what are you doing? Do, do you think that it's no secretly, but behind closed doors, Rogers is saying, Well, he's shaking his hands together, going, it's he's gonna back the board into a corner to well, spend that's money what in January. I think he's doing, right, but I don't trust him to buy the players to improve the team. Mm. Where would you improve, first of all? Uh, Part of the manager. Uh, the boardroom. No, <laughs> uh, I've never seen the sack the board and all that. Like, it's not that, mate. Right, I'll tell you the reason for this, right? And I brought this up to you. Mm-hmm. Peter Lowell was there, Lennon's last season, right? Then mm-hmm. he leaves. Aye, I'm right? Sure. Ange comes in. Uh, the, the new managing director nah, right, brings Ange in. Then he leaves quite the quickly. Rugby guy. Uh, and then he left, right? But then they brought in another guy, and the other guys went like to Ange here. Fucking batter in. Buy whoever you want to Found buy, right? Andrew's bought players to fit his his system. Mm-hmm. Now Rogers has come in. He's had plenty of time. He's made seven or eight signings. Mm-hmm. See if these signings aren't fitting his system. It's him that's the problem. It's not the players, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I don't know. It's, I'm just I'm just I'm fed up watching it, Stevie. And it's aye, aye. It's and a disgrace. He's not what it's like. He's have been there. Aye. You know what I mean, more often than, more often than me. Is that you try to get a weed again? I had to, mate. I've got to defend myself a wee bit. Fair, enough, fair, enough, mean? fair, enough, fair enough, fair enough, man. Dick. I mean, wait, when was that game? The Celtic and Hearts game? Saturday. Saturday. It's just been a good weekend. It's been a good week. <laughs> it's I been just, a brilliant I've, week, man. I thoroughly enjoyed the last I was <laughs> resigned to the fact Rangers were going to the conference league. No, I was resigned to that. I was going, Sunday's massive. We weren't but, even bothered about no, it. And it and not that we were only bothered, but it was like eyes on Sunday, whatever aye. happens. In fact, it was it was almost like this is in the road. And aye, then. Aye. See, he won that game to go to half of your group, uh, to win the group, win the game, win the group, sell it, get beat half hearts, and then to go and win the cup. I'm pure loving life in it, man. Mate. See the whole what? Listen, and I'm talking, Chris. I'm talking. Know, but it's, Don't talk to me like that. We're talking. Like you're saying about beating beating bets and stuff like Aye. that, right? I mean, Aberdeen beat in track Frankfurt. I know. Need these bet bets at home this season. I thought Real Madrid could need it. Need Scottish teams bet in track Frankfurt in the last couple of years. <laughs> And we beat Aberdeen or all, so we pumped Frankfurt. Fucking hell, I know, I'm glad you missed it. And they pumped Bayern Munich. I know. <laughs> Rangers are the champions of Aye. Europe. It's brilliant, man. Can we get that cut out? Aye, but we were like that, weren't we? So, Thursday was... It was good to kind of... We ended up getting engrossed in the game, the men of it known, because it was a bit mental at the game. It was an exciting game, man. Aye. It was. I didn't even know. Um, I said, no, I don't even fucking watch that. Because we, we, no, we, well, we were kind of like backstage, and it was like one of the ones where, of course, we needed to go back on the stage when there was like 30 seconds injury aye, time left, man. Aye. It, was, oh, it was brutal. Aye. Then we came aye. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> back to your 40 grand a week job. And the rest? <laughs> aye. And the rest? I'm going to get my bed. Double that. You kidding me on? Dafty, come on. Come on, man. We're <laughs> playing here, fucking toy soldiers, man. <laughs> uh, so I then, of course, Sunday happens. Sunday was stressful. I was terrible. I put it on. He's mother's tone. I put it Honestly, on for five you, minutes to have school. Turn to back up. He, he does. He does all that. Sh- oh, I, I, actually, it makes me. I, I sit in silence because he kicks things and all that. I'm radios terrible, and, man. Terrible, man. Oh, Honestly, it was, it was I, so stressful because. I don't even, win in the cup, right, it's a cup final, win the cup, but I think cause of what had happened to you is we are, isn't it? I just think it's brilliant, man. What? S- sitting there with my makeup on that, or my, I, what, 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 what I make. He didn't say a word, I'm, I'm sitting there volleying the cabinet in front of you. He didn't and does. And Gregor just sits us. It's because you're doing all the supporting for him, bro. Day, oh. but because I'm not that one of my... Gregor's very open his mouth in case he gets one of the Rangers players' names wrong. Fucking hell, can Chelsea... He's sitting there shooting for some good come on. Tell you best twenty minutes of our team. Remember that. <laughs> no, By the way, he did you see? Oh no, this is. I'm not going off on a tangent about him, but he he put something in the hospital. I think. Seriously? Aye, <laughs> aye, I, I, it's really bad, man. Aye, I did I not put it in the chat? No. Did you put it in the chat? Aye, really bad, man. And he was getting right in his face. 
he was really bad man but uh what are we talking about uh, I, so, I, sunday so sunday it was like uh and it, it almost felt the first half you just knew it was one of the games man you're like one but, goes I, but I, don't think I, I, I don't think there was any sort of i mean Aberdeen never had any shots on target did they i mean uh, no, yeah, that it one, when there was one of Button, didn't they pull that guy out of the way? Oh, that was. Uh, no, you, you think it was a penalty? Well, you just get penalties for it a couple of no, weeks. No, but do you think it's a penalty? I've not seen it. I'm not kidding, <laughs> man. <laughs> I, mate, I'm not lying. I've not seen it. <laughs> I'll tell you something, man. Special shout out to Dujon Sterling playing midfield, man. Good game. And Good all, game. I, but, uh, not, just, not just that, right? To Sterling, but also Big Phil. Big you know Phil. what I mean? For, for, for him, do you think McBeal would have done that? No. Jink, would have played with it? No. 14 or 15 or that? Aye. 15 unbeaten for Rangers? Mm-hmm. Is it? Remember I said a couple of weeks ago, Rangers have got a bit of momentum and you say they haven't. And the 15 unbeaten, that's a bit mm. of momentum. Mm. You know what I mean? And I, I stand by it. I, I definitely know, man. Have Rangers, you put, Rangers have you put money on Rangers out to win a league? Oh, mate, I don't. I only, I only ever bet Rangers when it's a select game, so if he's win, I don't get Aye. upset. <laughs> I know you. Uh, uh. <laughs> no, I don't. Which ankle on the 30th? Um, oh, I don't know, man. Like, some of my family are coming round and that. What? Oh no, it's the 31st. What's happening on the 30th? <laughs> what do you think? Don't want to talk about it, man. No, you need to, but it's a football podcast. It's, a, it's Celtic are at home against Rangers. Any less than a draw. They should, in fact, any less than a win is unacceptable, but a draw suits Rangers now. Do you know what I mean? If you win your two games in hand, get a point at Celtic Park. Next game against Celtic's at Ibrox. If you keep your run going, what I say is, man, I think Rangers are favourites, and I thought that before the Hearts game. So, I wait to see what happens. January's going to be big. If half a head gets some decent players in, then oh, we might hang me. We might, we might go on a wee run, but I just don't see him. I don't think the players are playing for him. I don't think they like him. I think it's a massive culture shock going from Postacoglu to Rogers mm. and I don't think that he enjoy playing his style and you can see it like, see the style that he's playing he's got a striker there that scored nearly 30 goals last season mm-hmm. and he's he's putting high balls into the box for him he's about the same height as me he's a shadow isn't he what it's, it is man mate, he's not, it's, he's it's not, not the same player there was, there was chances that watching the game you go you're thinking if this is last season he, he's going to the ball over the top him, aye. Aye. And he, he missed it completely didn't he aye, aye. and aye. the thing is it, I think he's kind of shot it for the goalie a wee bit as well in that one but but what, 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 so what do you what, in a realistic world tour, what do you want to happen now? And I a realistic he's not gonna leave. Do no. you know what I mean? Rogers isn't gonna leave. If you if the board are gonna back him, they need to back him properly in January. Give him a chance with the the facilities that we've got and the money that we've got, we should be able to bring in players and improve that team and play to his his system. But if they don't play it if he doesn't bring in the players to play to his system, he's on a hide and nothing, mate. I can see the writing on the wall. Aye, man. I really can. And I, I think, to be honest with you, and I've said this before, I think winning the league or not, I don't think he'll be here next season. Aye, really? I, I don't think he'll be here next season, no. I don't, I don't think, I think the culture of the club's completely different to what it was when he was there mm-hmm. before. And you were saying that all day, never go back, didn't you? Uh, mate, don't never go back. Really? Don't never ever go Walt, back. Walter Smith Walter. Walter, Walter, I, say, Walter, I said it to you as well. Walter Smith was like the only one that I can remember going back. I'm even going back to Billy McNeil. Aye. You know what I mean? Like Billy McNeil, and then you've got you've got Neil Wen, and he's went back and look how that worked out for him. Mm. See if you, you somebody somebody said on uh, the radio that night, bring back Lennon. Aye. Would you take? There was a guy that was at the game, and he said he done the old steady the ship part, steady the ship part. Bring in Giggsy. <laughs> <laughs> Ten days season. Grand's keeps on the Twenty million's been. He's been back, but we spent about twenty million. No, definitely. That's why I'm saying that he signed these players and they don't fit. The, and I don't Aye. trust them to spend the money. I've said that, but what I think he might have done, and I don't know. Obviously, I don't know because I don't, I'm not in and in about Celtic Park or anything like that. But I think he's bought players off a. The, the list that have already been scouted. Before Ange went. And these players would have fit Andrew's system, but they don't fit his system. So, you know, he, he's probably thought that he was going to go to a Saudi Arabia or an English team and he was going to have loads of money to spend. Mm-hmm. And when he's got his list of players that he wants, <coughs> they're maybe a wee bit out of their price range. So, he just needs to cut his cloth according to his pocket and get players in that, that we can afford that suit his system. What are you going for Christmas? Uh, a fucking shark. 
Keep flinging up, bandit. Good. <laughs> no, noted. I, I did say bandit. I'll say die. We'll keep, I'll keep man. No. Nah, so, anyway, lads, Saturday night, man. I was in a bad way. How was wrong? I was in a bad way. Stephen? I'm not, no, I, same as you, kidney stones. Oh, did you? Mate, I'm telling you this now. Is that not meant to be a serious thing ever? I've never felt pain like this in my life. That's scary. I've been telling you this for months, man. I, I was back on the religion bandwagon and everything. So I was. What do you mean? Oh God, God, please make us pain go away. Nice. I was, Did I was, you pass it? But I must have done because it's no sore anymore. No, it must have dissolved. If you passed well, it, it you would have ended up in the hospital. It must have dissolved. So then see because... how when they say, see when they say, because that's how it, it comes. The wee stones come through your past, didn't it? Aye. Mm-hmm. And it, you've had it before, and you've saw uh, wee stones come at your wallet. I've early. never passed them, no. That's how I had to go for a CT scan last so week. What, so what is it? What are they? Mate, it's a build-up of calcium or something mm. like that. Like, see, like, when it filters, your push filters through your kidney. Mm. And it, if Your kidney's all right, aye, historically. Aye, I have never had any issues, mate. I, do you know that way I was grabbing the fucking mattress in the bed and all that? Ah, so ah, please, Did God, they not say it's God. like the male equivalent of giving birth? Well, my, my cousin's granny... <laughs> Gave birth to a wain that was like ten pound odds, right? I was ten pounds. And she said that she'd do that five times over before taking kidney stones again. Wow. Mm. So it's it's really really sore, mate. Was well, you not taking a wee pass it more on this did, podcast? I, I took... I'm on a watching man. <laughs> Use free fucking stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying what I was telling. I don't know, man. No, I saw man because mine's is mine's was massive. They said in 2017, I never passed it. it must have dissolved. Then just recently when we started panel, I had to go for a CT scan. I've not heard the word back of it yet, but must have dissolved again because how so do, how, pain, do, how do you get them? Like what's is there anything you need to do to make sure you don't know? I don't know, mate. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I just And then so what did you do? Did you phone the doctor or No mate, I was saying I, I literally couldn't move, right? Mm. I was lying in my bed. Eventually I fell asleep, right? When I woke up, I was fine. Yeah, I, I woke up and I woke up somewhere. I was like, oh, by the way, pee a, constantly. That's a way. No, you can't really. No, right. you do. Well, well, I could no, pee. No, you do. When I, you've got kidney stones, all you do is piss. Mate, I, I done a piss. That's right? what you do. I had to the walk over a million times. The next morning, I done a piss and it looked like tea. Mate, that's a, milk in if it. you can't pee, no, that sounds more like a fucking prostate or something. Oh, really? I know. We figure up we are so fix that anyway. Because when you've got kidney stones, that's all you do is constantly piss. Well, I'll tell you this now. Whatever it was, bottom left hand corner of my back, looked up the the symptoms Never and all that, that all the symptoms was exactly what mm. I had and it said lie on the side that's affected mm. to ease the pain done that got to sleep woke up it was away right but in the morning I, the door went I was getting a, a parcel delivered and the door went and I jumped out of bed and by the time I got to the door I was ringing with sweat Aye. man right like properly ringing with sweat opened the door took the parcel Went back to my bed, had to see one of the big hoodie things. Oh, yeah. it half, mate, and it was like, as if I had just been out the shower. No, was fucking, and that was just for the bedroom and the door. So it was it was really bad. It was it was definitely kidney stones, but I didn't have an issue. I, I had an issue doing a pee, right? CBD no help? Well, I took CBD and I, I'm not even kidding on it. did kind of, mm. and no, I done it. Sammy put the, see the balm Aye. on the bottom of my back where mm. it was, and it was almost like instant relief, and I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm not even lying. Yeah. That is what you call, what do you call that Product again? Product placement? Yeah. No, I've it's been... what you call, what do you call that again when you think you take something, you think it's worked right away and all that? Uh, placebo effect. Aye. Aye. But yeah, that yeah. sometimes works the placebo effect, I think. Yeah, I just damage you, you're lying in pain, Sammy rubbing that bam in your back, man. I know. <laughs> Right, thank God, thank God she never slipped a horn. I wasn't fat. I wasn't fat, know what I mean? But anyway, I, I was... slipped a horn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can just imagine that. <laughs> yeah, that's hot. That's fucking hot, man. That's hot. I saw it. So, but then when so I the got... the might have worked? It, no, that was the night before. But when I got up, it, it got sore again when I went to the door. Went and lay in my bed for half an hour. Took two paracetamol. About an hour later, I went away and it never came back. I've been fine since. The Sammy getting your lickers in all that and grapes. Grapes and uh, uh, <laughs> fucking women's own. <laughs> <laughs> women's own uh, magazine. It's about time you took a break. I was just about to say that. Honest to God. <laughs> hey. That joke was dandy. Hey. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you should uh you should you should have got that nurse, would you call her again? Bella. Bella. <laughs> oh for fuck's sake. I can't even care. You know what we all need to do, then. What are you sitting there for, man? Move closer. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
and you say okay. <laughs> I said okay. Ah, End of the day, man. Oh. End of the day, man. That's life. <laughs> That's what other people say. <laughs> Absurd. He, he's a people's friend. <laughs> no, do you know what? Do you know what, man? Like what? we, well, there's a bit on the pantomime where we, we, we do a, we do a thing with magazines. Aye. And it, so you've got all the names in the magazines. Aye, actually, well, 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 I'm shooting for the happy. Uh, no, 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 a lot of them were there, weren't they? What are you raging That's life, isn't it? What are you going to get for? That's, yeah, that's, life, that's life as a TV show, not a magazine. No, there is. I was in life. That's, that's life. life. That's, that's life, aye, aye. You were in that's life? No, it was Take a Break I was in. Aye. <laughs> like when I was 12. I've told you this before, have I not? That's right, aye. You, you brought into them, didn't aye. you? Oh, aye, aye, aye. I have £15 aye, aye. for it. Aye. <laughs> Did you spend that on? The Brain Waves Roadshow. I can't remember. I think about wrestling tapes. Instead, instead of old photographs carrying, uh, gathering dust up the loft, why not use them as a bookmark? Oh. And that get used. Very eco friendly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For my time. So was. What was it you to use as a big mark? Old photographs. Oh. Do you know what I've been getting into? You get fifteen pounds for that. <laughs> you get fifty if you get a you, you use a photo. But guess what? what I'm getting into? What? NASA. Oh, he's been obsessed. In space. Ah, I love it. No, I mean, and I just think to myself, you know, this is this is me now. Like, going to be an astronaut. Planes. No, but I'm no jo- I'm, I'm, like, I'm no give, joking. Give, give him two weeks, mate. I know all the words and all that. Re-entry, uh, atmosphere, <laughs> p- uh, payloads, mate. I'm no joking. Re-entry, I'm, I'm, payload. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be payload after that re-entry. I know every. <laughs> <laughs> I know everything about the Challenger disaster, Aye. the Columbia disaster. I know about like Alfredo uh, Morelos. <laughs> can I? Can, can I? He's can, a fucking Colombian Columbia disaster. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> See, right, sometimes between shows, right, mm-hmm. can I, I don't know if I can say this. Mm-hmm. I like Grado will send me a wee video when I go up the road sometimes, right, but he'll go and book his cell in a hotel, right, and he'll go and get his chicken wings, and oh. he'll get his burger, right, and he sent me a video last week, he's like, that's me getting my chicken wings, my burger. And I'm just going on YouTube and I'm going to watch everything about space. I'm telling you, man. Is. There's hun- mate, there's so much stuff out there, man. You watch about it. Mm. There's like uh on you go. There's I'm trying to think, there's um I mean, see the space shuttle. That programme was unreal, you space, think? But space shuttle endeavour. The Space Shuttle Endeavour. Endeavour was one of them. Challenger was one of them. Discovery was one of them. Mate, I, I'm into them all. I want to speak to do you know what I want for my Christmas? What? To speak to an astronaut. Or something like that. Who the fuck go to him in secret? Sam, like, I'm not paying for that, man. <laughs> but if you never sat and watched, like, see, like, um, like, like takeoffs and re-entries and all the different, and, and I'm just, just, just you should go to the Kennedy Space Center. They still do the launches. Aye, did they? I SpaceX are there now, isn't it? But uh, SpaceX. Also, do you know what's interesting as well? The International Space Station. Like how does folk oh, up there? Oh wait right a minute, now? SpaceX is that no Elon Musk? Aye, aye but, so but, they're, but they're joined up together. They know, they know. What, NASA and SpaceX are joined up? Are they know, they know teamed up. Do you know what? Do you know who will be with me? Check Google me. Either way, do you know what? I'm not really into the news. No, 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 can I say? <laughs> it's not, no. It's, I'm not into the new stuff. I'm into the old school stuff. The retro space aye, stuff. Aye. And it, with the chance of a disaster or two. Uh, do you, you know what? Do you know what it is, mate? That's like your, your two worlds coming together. Gr- uh, grim videos in space. Aye, that's like porn for him. <laughs> It's interesting to type things up, like, because there's, there's there's something in space right now, a guy called Oleg, that's been up there for... Eight, off. Yeah, no. <laughs> He's been up there for 849 days. I just I think it blows my mind. There's somebody up there now. Do you know, it, it's... Did it's they drop him a fit? No, no. They have, they have done hmm? stuff together. What? Have they? they have. They've collaborated they together. together. They collab. Do you know that the International Space Station, it circles the Earth once every 90 minutes. How fast is that going? It's gone about... I think it's gone somewhere... Like, I think it's sixteen thousand mile per hour. I could be wrong. It's no, it's no like jets. Uh, that's gravity that does well, that. This is what was interesting me. I know, right? See, once the space right, so see when the space shuttle takes off, it's got the two uh, solid rocket pistols at the yeah. side, right? That's only for six or seven minutes. Yep. Then they break off and it falls into, into the water. Then they can mm. use it again. But the big orange one, right? That has got so many million tons of uh, fuel, petrol, uh, fuel in it, and. See every aye, second. I Challenger exploded, wasn't it? Mm-hmm, aye. So see how every second it, it burns the amount, the same amount of a, a big swimming pool being emptied in a second. That's how much. Wow. Yeah. 
Would you go? I would, would you? Aye. Hundred percent. I would. What about all the disasters you've seen? What would you not be shining? I know. I know. Like, what about all the plane crashes you've seen? Uh, that's true. Mm, it's crazy yeah. the amount of the amount of stuff that's happened where you think, wow, that could have really have been stopped. Let's see, like the Columbia disaster. Do you think Nigel Farage would have survived the Columbia? <laughs> <laughs> Do I? Seems to survive every other it fucking thing, doesn't it? I know, I know. It's only, it's only been 40 years since that one, the Columbia disaster was in the mid-80s, but anyway, I don't want to rabble. Do you know what I read? I, I watched a show and see one of the, it was a woman, uh, was on the Columbia, and her wings, women was on it once. There was a woman on... Was it a Challenger, maybe? The there was a woman on Challenger and the Columbia. Right, well, her wings were watching it when it, when it I, exploded. No, that I, was... What about the guy you were telling us who was reporting on it? That was a good story you told me in the room, Mildy. So the guy the, who was reporting on it says, I've never, something's went wrong. So, see, so the Columbia was in February, I think it was February the 1st, 2003, mm -hmm. and it had been up in space for 14 days. What had actually happened is a bit of debris for the for the shuttle hot into... The fuel? Well, it actually wasn't the fuel tank, mate. Do you know what it was? It was one of the silicon tiles, right? There's like something like 5,000 silicon tiles on the space shuttle because the most dangerous thing is the speed that it's coming in, coming in it, right? create so much heat that there needs to be a silicon shit on the arse of the, 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 the space shuttle. So what happened was, was that one eye fell off, one fell it off when it was taken <coughs> eye. So one one tile fell off when it was taken off. Taken and, off first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I remember seeing that. Aye. You see the wee thing pop more. Popping off, right? And a lot of folk are saying like, right for then, they, they should have been told. They but should have been like, and possibly. Abort? Is there any way to abort when it's at that point? Say, Aye, do you know what? They could have done it. And in the time, they could have got another space shuttle to go up and like separate it or something like, what would you call that when you put something sizzle no <laughs> <laughs> no a docking dock 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 <laughs> no, that's, an better, that's a better subject for me yeah, right? <laughs> I don't know if you were talking about that earlier <laughs> Just doing a little scissoring. <laughs> uh, and what I was watching was the live, the live news. <laughs> and you used to do that one. You put your hands together. Oh, oh open, it's a panty. No, remember that? Open, open daddy's panties. <laughs> remember that? Aye. And then it was open mummy's panties. <laughs> here's the church, here's the steeple. Remember that one? No, I don't remember that one. <laughs> what is it? Here's the, what is it? Here's the church. Here's the steeple, here's the pews with all the people. Ah, uh, something like that, wasn't it? Can't remember, you know, it's shite anyway. <laughs> you don't even remember, fuck your space. I, I love the way you were like, no, I didn't do that. What's that? And you're like, scissor. <laughs> you all know me by now. No, I love it, mate. It's brilliant. So, yeah. I, so that's what I'm into the now, and I think, get into it with me, something to get into it with me. Nah, well, man. that's what I was, I was going to nah. tell you. I didn't, I didn't interrupt you because the story actually interests me, right? And the reason it interests me is because, <laughs> see when I go to bed at night, if I'm not on night shift, put on YouTube and I put on the history of outer space mm. and it's on for like 10 hours or something like that. That's so, a bit extreme, I think, that aye. one. I'm sure you recommended me that. Aye, yeah, so you're not hardcore with me then? No, yours is made today with the universe. I'm more interested in the transportation. And, and the technical side of things. I would rather just put the Sopranos on again or something. I just can't get it. I never sit and go there and go and watch shit on YouTube. YouTube's with my telly. That's I know. my channel. YouTube. That's the only thing that I don't mind paying for. See, like, like see your fucking Netflix. No, it's all shit on Netflix. See the paying for the U see paying for the YouTube Premium. I love it. No. The adverts. You download it on your phone. I love yeah. YouTube Premium, but when so it boys are in, man, get the tunes so on that. I love it. That is good, man. That is brilliant. That is, that is good. And if the Waynes, Leo and Leila watch YouTube all the time because they've got that premium. They just watch. I started watching a program. It's on, excuse me. It's on it. It's a YouTube original. Um, it's called Wayne. I got it recommended to me after my mate in work, Brian, and you'd like it. Aye. You wouldn't. Is that a bit of a mister in between? It's about a boy that's just a renegade, mate. Really? Aye. Wayne? Is that a drama? It's a, uh, aye, it's a drama. It says drama comedy, but I'm yet to laugh at it, but mm. there's a lot of fucking violence in it. I'll Here's something I'm going to tell you. I watched a trailer in the house. Eh, in the fresh Home Alone 3? No, no. I watched that yesterday. That was ridiculous. That's got Scarlett Johansson in it. Listen to this. Aye, it was shite, but Listen to this. See, I, I've told you to watch Top Boy, I don't think any have watched it right, mm -hmm. but the boy, why the main men for Top Boys in this thing, right? right? It's called The Kitchen. Right. It's a Netflix film. Ian Rice in that, I think. You're into a story. <laughs> <laughs> he did this on stage all day, right? I've got a wee bit with Jester, where Jester false corpses a wee bit, and I go, Don't 
give the game away. I'll do what the fuck I want. Who are you talking to? You. Yes. He's doing my boxing. He's been doing my he done for fucking weeks now. No, it's getting like, get to the point now. Yeah, Brendan Rodgers would have brought them together. Mm. No, no, I did if for a anything else, he's driven a wedge. Did for a couple of hours, man. Right, just move on to something else now, because there's no point in that story, because Gary's just... I want to tell us. That was that. What's what you see Ian Wright? I know Ian Wright's on about. What's the programme about? Mm-hmm. The kitchen. I don't know. I just watched the trailer and I was baffled, but I kept seeing Ian Wright popping up in a trailer. Right, here's the serious question. Do you think now with the success... <laughs> here's the question. Do you think now with the success of Bear mm-hmm. and all that, this is now the new thing? Because how popular is food on, let's see, Instagram, not Reels? Do you think no, that there's going to be... This is about food. This is the kitchen, like the ghetto or something. <laughs> <in> some <laughs> right. Hell's kitchen. Hell's kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, you Stevie, I thought I was a bad chef. I know, so, no, 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 it's funny, man. <laughs> Hence why I asked, what's it about? <laughs> like, ah, just this guy, man. <laughs> making, making toast, do When's When's <laughs> leaving about a when? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ian Wright walking about a kitchen. <laughs> That's funny, man. Just Ian Wright is a sous chef. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like chicken tonight. I chicken tonight. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do you know what? That came up there uh, in my hangwees. One of these, um, like, Rec- I feel like chicken tonight. I was like, take you back to the 90s, nostalgia and all that. Mate, I remember getting chicken tonight for my dinner all the time. Aye, you so don't that. see it anymore. Mate, I never, I've never even tasted chicken tonight. Oh, oh, aye, aye, man. My mum used to buy it so all the time. So did my mum. My mum used to get the honey and mustard aye. one all the time. All the man. And my it was mom. brilliant aye. with tatties. With tatties, not. It was beautiful. Was that a tatty dinner? Tatty dinner. Was a tatty dinner with chicken tonight. It was a tatty dinner with chicken tonight, and I remember, loved it. Remember when he scored for Celtic? You know what I mean? Chicken tonight. That was Berkovich. That was Berkovich. Yeah. So, as we are, so. Right. I remember Ian Wright playing in the game Lambert lost his teeth. Mm-hmm. Aye, Berkovich scored two in that game. Uh, Aye, was, was it four, four two? Four two, four, two Rangers. Rangers. Amato Amato had a great game. And I think. I think Reggie Blinker came on, and the Rangers fans were cheering and all that. Season before that was Gals. Then he nutmegged somebody and they mm. shot up. Aye. No, he didn't. I mean, no, he still did. Also, actually, that's funny because I remember when the BB's got a, a car show at the SEC mm-hmm. and um, Ian Wright was there buying a motor. Aye. That sounds like a tall story. <laughs> no, I've not got any pictures SEC to prove it. Yeah, I think everything's met. Why isn't he eating chicken, aren't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, photographic evidence, sorry, it's a lie. Oh, by the way, what? I've got a game. Me, I took the words out of my mouth. Grado hit, right. Have you, got, be, have you made up a game for the show? I'll be honest, right. Mm. Grado and Inti, I'm hoping. Genius mode. Right. He's been working really hard on this for the last couple of weeks. Can I just say, but it's going to Can be I better. Can I just say something fall- here? Just, it's going to be better in the following weeks, right? Because I've had little to any time to try and get it ready. Yeah, you've right? not fleshed it out yet. Aye, and we've not got a name for it yet either, right? But basically, what I'm going to do is I've got three excerpts mm-hmm. from autobiographies right. of mm-hmm. people in Scottish football, and I'm just going to read like a couple of lines, and you need to guess what right. autobiography is fair. Grado's, Grado's Book, Book Club. Club. Welcome to another episode of Grado's Book Club. Where I'm gonna, where I'm gonna be reading excerpts for Scottish football autobiographies. Just reading a couple of excerpts. A wee tester, a wee tester, one of Aye, it's gonna get better, right? I'm gonna get trying mere, mere. Um, can we not do riddles again so I can make Stephen read I know, man, he went. You were too. Good. I think, but you'll be good at this. But I hope so. so. Right, so my name is Brian Lloyd. Right, so what are we calling it? Grado's <laughs> Book Club. Right. Grado, the first line. <laughs> my name is Brian Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna, cause I mean. Right, you, need mate, to, you need mate, to tell mate, us the rules, right? Well, what? Right. You've, well, what? Ju- you've just started. You need to tell us the rules. Right, so you're getting right. angry. Oh, I don't know the right, fucking do, rules. Do you need sure to finish? What about if right. you finish the excerpt, right? And then we hang me. We have a guess right. at it. Okay, right. right, we finish. Is that what do you think? Right, Let okay. me finish it. Go on, stop getting raging. What about if it's us two versus you? Oh, Text right. me the answers. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, is your number still 0780? <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay. Right, Grado's. My Grado's book club. My, my Grado's. <laughs> you said my to start. Grado's book club. You're my, like, my Grado's book club. My Grado's book Right, go. Uh, the first sign of interest from Rangers came after I played for the Northern Ireland under 14 select against the Scottish schools team in Stranra. We won the match quite convincingly and I played particularly well that day. It was after that match that I was told Motherwell might be interested in giving me a trial. But a couple of weeks la- later, Rangers informed me that they would like to invite me to visit Ibrox Park for the day. I know who it is. Right. You, need Lennon. you need to text him. What? It's Neil Lennon. Well, it's Neil Lennon, but you should have texted me. You might have texted. We just said that I, I texted him my answer. Okay. I, I texted him my Gabriel's answer. not happy with this one. Right, I texted him my answer. Right, let's go. Next one. Shite bag. <laughs> yeah, it's a shite bag. Ah, yes. 
No, he takes a back seat to Jester every day. Ah, he does, man. Jester fucking bullies him, man. One player who stuck, one player who stuck out in those primary school days was Morris Johnson. We won a centenary tournament against other schools, associations in Glasgow, and have an abiding memory of the night that me and Mo went to the city chambers to receive our trophy and medals. Off to the side of the stage, behind a curtain, Mo and I ended up trading blows about who should be in front of whom. What we didn't realise was that the curtain was open while we were grappling in view of the audience, including the Lord Provost, who just stood there with his mouth gaping, astonished by these apparent wee Ned's inability to behave in that August room. Mo and I eventually played for Scotland together, and there was even a short spell shared at Everton. Um, right, so they played for Scotland and they played for Everton together. I'm going to go with... Right, I've sent you my, my answer. Okay, I've not got any reception. Oh, you've not got it. <laughs> Mate, neither of them. Right, so it. I think that one's Paul Dickov. Right, Grant Co, you've guessed the Big Dunk, that's not right. So I'm not getting... Uh, but I've not got a signal, I've been texting you, but I've not got a signal. Right. Uh, I, it's, it's either McCoy or Paul Dickov, but I'm going to go with Paul Dickov. You think Paul Dickov has got an autobiography? Well, he's had a, he had a decent career, mate. I'm getting them. Are you there? No. That's who I was thinking actually. Do you know who it is? Is it Ian Durant? No. All right. <laughs> Turns out I didn't know who it was after all. Um, nah, that's that's as much. Who are you going for? I don't know. Uh, I think this would be a good one for Grado versus the punters. All right, aye, right. Well, we'll, we'll put that one out to the punters. Aye. Let's do that. Punters. Let's do that. Right. This was in anticipation of the arrival of the Prime Minister Tony Blair, who had requested permission to meet the team to offer his best wishes for success. I introduced him one by one to the players, and I found his knowledge of individuals and of the game in general to be impressive. <laughs> um, can I have a wee guess? I can't text you. Aye, right, right. Uh, Craig Brown. It's McCoy. It's Craig Brown. What is it? That's honestly... I, I was buzzing for a saw day. <laughs> Was it, it was interesting. Aye, aye, right. it's good. It's a good laugh. I'm not spending any money. I'm going to Waterstones. I'm just going to take, take photos. photos. Aye. <laughs> I don't know, you know what I mean? Aye, that's a good yeah, idea. If, if you enjoyed that game, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's your rage that I'm not going to be enjoying, man. Calm down. Oh, man, you need, you need to chill. Oh, you get that hell, nervous man. when. Do you, you know what you need to know to calm yourself down? Some CBD oil. And also. Also, we need to announce which week we're going to go for this week. So, uh, to win £150 worth of CBD products, eh, sorry, oh, three, three, sorry three £300, pounds. Pounds. fucking the, the oil on its own is 150 quid. I don't know what I'm saying that for. Right, so £300 worth of CBD oil. Um, we've waxed lyrical about it every week. The stuff is shit hot. Yes. And we're giving you 50% off just now by using the Apex code on cbdoilscotland.com. Am I right? Yes. Did I get anything wrong there? No. Oh, right, okay. So this week we want you to tell us what the combined number of goals in the Scottish Premier League is going to be. It's on the Saturday, five games, only the Saturday games. Right, we want you to tell us what the what the combined number of goals is going to be. The person who is closest or gets it right wins the wins the, uh, wins the, the ample. Deal and gets entered into the draw, which will be on a Christmas special for a holiday to Tenerife for DOS. DOS people. DOS, DOS people. DOS servets a por so favor. not only are you winning a CBD hamper worth nearly 300 quid, you're going to get a chance to win a holiday. You're going to get a chance to win a holiday. And, I, and again, I just want to back up the amount of folk that have been texting me about Canimal for the dogs. What a big difference they're seeing Aye. in the dog's behaviour. Using the CBD oil for the Canimal. The Canimal that they use, it really does affect Aye. the dogs. And it is really, really working well. So if you've got a wee dog that's suffering from depression, anxiety, separation issues, then Canimal is definitely a product that I would recommend for your wee. 100%. Canimal is the top dog. The top dog. Aye, you're such a cool cat. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> CBD oil, CBD oil Scotland dot com. Not at fault. CBD made easy. Me, you alright? What's wrong with you, man? I'm not saying it. By the way, I've got. I've got a key for. Why are you alright? 
Do it, mate. Yeah, got, do you really want me to go there? Not, but I'm. Oh, do you I'm, really want me to go there? I'm the power of you, the new girl. Like you're a fucking flam. I'm not. This is fucking right? brilliant, isn't it? This is mate, brilliant. No, I don't want to listen. It's like watching my fucking mom and dad fight. He. Dredo's got a thing here, mate. I have got this thing. Aye, but the last, I couldn't, couple, the last couple of days, it's been like he's ready to go. And it's I can make him greet. You can't even make me greet. That's that's lies. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait one day, and I'm gonna date on the other. I can't make him greet. He's saying <laughs> I, I can, can make him greet. No, you can't. Aye. Stevie, I've murdered your wife. Aye, aye, that would make me greet. <laughs> no, he, he, he I can't even make me greet. He can make me get raging, aye. and my face goes pure red. Not that. But so see the way he was there. I can't. I'm so glad I never grew up with a brother. Cause that's what it would have been like. Mm. Used to are like brothers, man. It's, it's one of the ones that because we're spending that much time each other, it is like ah, it's funny, you man. want to annoy your wee brother, your you big brother. Hear somebody like part with each other at the end of the day when we've done two shows. See if you'd a video camera, a video noise has gone like that. This is us at the start of the day. See it night time. Right, the start of the day. So can like, I, can we organise it <laughs> for the Patreon? I think the stuff we see each other could never see the light of day, but right, so what's everybody's plans for the rest of the week then? <laughs> Got to be doing panel, mate. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not raging. I'm not raging. All right. I'm not, listen. <laughs> I don't like this, man. It's got a kind of volatile atmosphere. It's no. It's shut no. up. Right. Behave yourselves. Right. What you want to do, though? Where'd you get the trainers? <laughs> How about you like him? If you're doing for you were a baby, look at these fucking things, man. How about you? Hey, man. Keep it blue. <laughs> mate. Come on, you're an adult. You don't wear baby boy. You're talking about in your daft fucking. <laughs> what? Your fucking jeans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you your jeans. Your fucking old man hat. Oh, who are you fucking Levi Strauss or something? I see, I see, I see, Derek McInnes had your bonnet on at the weekend. Did he? Aye. 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 Don't kid on you only watching, too. Come on, look. No, can't find no, he was he was hosting the hangman. He was a man. I genuinely was not he? I put the game Can on for five minutes and Tav on your scored and I turned it off. It's annoying, isn't it? By the way, you're right, Grado, he's a wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad it's not me for a change, man. Aye. I quell it. So tell me, what's it what's the script? Is it just familiarity breeding contempt between the two? Aye, as a, aye, as a, aye, aye. So do you enjoy your day off? Right? No, right, right, tell me that, well that's what I was going to he say phone, I, went for, I went for fucking breakfast when I called a couple of weeks ago my day after, and he phones me but it was a nice phone call aye mate I felt he's telling bad. you that I felt pure bad no it wasn't we can't say where it went but I, I basically helped him I, I, I found something that somebody might like for their Christmas aye aye and, aye. He and, me, phone, aye. and he's been looking for it everywhere and aye. he couldn't be able to find it and I found it and I, and I was like this is day off it was a bit like what do you want? I met my. I know that. I'd have just been like, I never you fucking mind. Mm, I know. <laughs> on the phone up on. <laughs> so I did just, I had a disaster last night. Oh, wow. Well, it's not really good. Christ. What happened? Oh. Burn the lentils again? No. I had, I wanted, Stephanie wanted Mexican food. Right. So I thought, right, I've done Cassidy's before I'll do Cassidy's. But I've got that old Del Maso. What do you call it? Old Del Old Del Paso. Old Del Paso. Oh, the, the cat. Casadillas. The cat. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Casadillas. Oh, Doesn't matter. So it, maybe it is Casadillas on the old Del Baxter. <laughs> 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 so I got my chicken. He's fucking noising me up today, man. You're so raging, man. I'm not I'm even no, doing anything. Man, I'm not doing anything. How much you're biting me on this today? Can you talk about me? <laughs> <laughs> A pair of wankers. Right, shut up. You were making the cash of dollars, right? And then what that. happened? So, I tell her that she didn't need to get the wraps because it gives you the kit. Right. But I should it because they're, they're tiny. Aye, they're, they're I spent about two and a half hours stunning at that cooker. And I put chicken and I made pickle de gallo. Try oh, that. It's, nice. It's just chopped onions, coriander. Choked tomatoes, uh, pepper, and uh, salt, and all that. And uh, I ended up, is there, honestly, right, slaving all this cooker. Don't get me wrong, I got a couple of glasses of wine, it was, it kept me going. Of course, did I not go to flip the cassidy here? Oh, wow. I can ping me this back and combust it. <laughs> oh, burnt, all down the pan. And I sat it, I sat it this down. This is the, like a Vietnam I sat it in the plate. <laughs> I sat it in the, the plate, on and you know that way, usually Stephanie will say something like, oh, they're nice, not that, and I went, she just looked at me. 
And then I looked at her and I sat down and I tried one bite. I tried two bites. I put it down and I went up the stairs and went to my bed and I never spoke to her for <laughs> to the next morning. <laughs> to the next morning. <laughs> I was in that, I can't, I was in that much of a mood. Raging that I'd spent all that time because obviously it was her fault. Aye. It was her Aye, fault. Was. Why did we not just get a Chinese? You know what I mean? Why did we not just get an Indian? Was that on Sunday you were saying you Because I sent the photo of the Chinese in the group chat. No, I made, <clears> oh, that was good on Sunday night. I had a nice week. Oh, I had a jalapeno and cheddar loaf. Uh, and we, you see, this is what's good about Christmas time, isn't it? You can buy mm-hmm. all the Ken Ori, you know what I mean? Mate, see last Christmas. Fajita cones and chili yeah. cheese bites. Have you heard, aye, have you heard aye. the Cornish Cruncher cheese? No. Right, it's Marks and Spencers, they make their own cheese and it's called Tur- Cornish Cruncher, right? And have you tried that in Cine? Oh, I oh, love, right. love them, man. I, you mean well, Arancini? I don't know. Right, it's Aran- right next Aran- to your Casa Dallas. Arancini. <laughs> right, so Me rice balls. Last, uh, last right. year they done Cornish Cruncher Arancini balls, oh. right? And I've never been able to get them since, but... Christmas. Christmas. Aye. I'll definitely be getting I went them. to Mark's yesterday and I got some stuff and that's what it was like. I got a... The Wayne's wanted a dessert and all that, so I got the melt in the middle. Chocolate pudding, hang that, but all the wee things you're seeing. Mm-hmm. Are the wee mac and cheese bites. I want to be party, oh, party foods, finger hell foods. Hell yeah, hell oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, one of the things we bought was like, see, you've got the wee orange bowl, it's like a Spanish tapas plate, and you, sh- mm-hmm. you shove it in the oven, and it's just like a cheese fondue dip type. Oh, oh, oh my lord, and having hello be thy name. Don't get me wrong, I was, when I woke up the next morning, obviously, because I can't, I can't have eaten bread. Aye. I just went to town on it. I was murdered yesterday morning, the pains in my belly, but. Uh, Worth it? I, I, I was, it was off a good. I, it was off a good. What are, you, what are you doing for your Christmas dinner? Mate, I'm working on Christmas night. Are you? Aye. So, Boxing Day is really my Christmas anyway, because that's when boxing I get keen. Boxing for us. That's when I get keen. And then, obviously, Christmas Day is his birthday, so he spends Christmas with his brothers and sisters, his brothers and sisters, and uh, then he comes down to my house on, on Boxing Day. What's his rehab with his back on Mate, he's back in the gym. Is he? Already? Wow, that's brilliant. That's he's got Robocop, mate. Aye, I've, tell you, I've told you this before. I, I actually admire him because he's so fucking... He never, he never lets anything hold him down. Mm-hmm. And it's it's excellent to watch because he's doing really well. So that's he's good. hanging with... What are you laughing at? You just wait till your wings in for an operation. No, I'm not... Why are you laughing? Man? I, I'm not... I'm Aye, not. Let's see how quickly Perry's back in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> She needs to get off of vapes for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, that's, that's I don't want to tell you that. The spooky woman. Oh, it's funny, Stephanie man. Stephanie went to the spooky woman. And she was saying, <laughs> she was saying, <laughs> Perry smoking vapes? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> well, she did. She, she said, all the fuck's sake is going to, that's not going to last long. She does steal that. What does he mean, swear? Oh, no. The spooky woman buried Perry a wee bit. She called her the devil. I said your first wife was brilliant, but your, your second child's the devil child. She, um, what was it? She said, "No, tell your man, tell your man not to worry about his weight." <laughs> she's obviously like Stephanie well, up, isn't she? This is what I, <laughs> what I said. I said, but mate, there was loads of wee things. I'd love to give a fake name and then go to one of them. Aye, but, aye. But, but, but mate, see the, see the the, the Friday night going into Saturday. Elfie was meant to draw in my face, but Elfie forgot, right? And uh-huh. all that. Aye. And she went, "You should have." Elfie should have done that, you should have done that thing with the, with the fate. Like, we things like that, she can. How would you know that then? Aye, aye, aye it was right. bizarre. Do you know what? Let's get her on. Well, this is what I would love to do that, aye, because some of the stuff she That would be was, funny, was, was man. Was like, on. getting, getting a, a fortune. Like, it, getting your and fortune a, read on the Live pod. on the podcast, then that you're not going to be able, you're not going to be able to hide your reactions and stuff there's like that. There's a good guy goes to Coat Bridge. Is there? Uh, there's a wee spooky church in Coat Bridge. What's his name, the guy? Nick, I went to see him with our pals a few weeks ago. I'll find out. But he's meant to be really good. Darren Brown? Nah, he's better than him. Aye, would be. He's yeah. a chancer. Uh, my pal Dynamo's back on the telly. Aye, Dynamo's is dead. Mate. Mm-hmm. Is it good? It's brilliant. I watched a few watched episodes it last night. It baffles me. Sometimes I think, ah, that's quite clearly set up. And then sometimes I think, oh, but having, having him done it to me, uh, I yeah. know that it's no. Do you know what I mean? So uh, it's it's weird. But like, he, he put a fucking £10 note through a glass bottle a whiskey, right? Like, rolled it up as if he was going into the toilet with the £10 uh, note, right? And he puts it through the side of the bottle whiskey and pours uh, tequila sorry and pours shots through the funnel and then pushes the, the hang in and they get like he's not in the bottle and all that I don't know how they do it see unless it's actual camera jiggery pokery I don't know how they do it but see the people's reactions it's amazing 
Did right. you see the one with Tyson Fury? Yes. Did you not think that looked insanely fake? The punch. Well, do you know, on. there was a couple of things. He, he was standing. There was one. I. It looked. It looked bad. There was one where he was standing, and it was a. It was like a race car, right? Mm. And the, he's standing with his hand on it, and the guy starts wheel spinning, right? But I think it's a rear wheel drive, and the brakes are on in the front because the front wheels are spinning. Do you know what? what? See for all this, I, 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 you don't like magic. I don't like, I like magic. You don't like magic. I, 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 it's, it's all right for ten minutes. It's like a Kaylee. The no, music's good for ten fun. minutes, right? Let's see if it's all night, right? I can't be asked with it. I don't know what it is. I've never been. Never been a big one for it. Aye, aye. No. Are you right in that? No, no particularly. But I've I've been to a few. I've been to see David Copperfield in Vegas. Yeah. Aye. aye, in Gredo, right? He was on the stage, right? She so just behind the camera. We were quite close to the stage, and he's disappeared and fucking popped up for you, aye. like that too. Aye. Right, like off the stage and up there like that. I, I don't know how it's possible unless he's got a twin bra. Mm -hmm. it, has, it does, I mean, don't get me wrong, it is what a skill it must be to, to be able to do. He made, Aye, a, he made a Cadillac disappear in front of him. Sure, he done it with the Statue of Liberty. So he did, that's right. Mm -hmm. You know what he done with that, didn't you? They, they, the audience didn't know they were sitting on a rotating... Ah, and they, right, they, right, they right. So, the, the, so the, the Statue of Liberty's in front, they put the curtain up and they moved the curtain to... They moved the, the, the where they were sitting, and then they got the curtains. You know what I mean? I mean, he's a fly mugger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. Can he trust that? Uh, he can't take him anywhere. <laughs> tell you, we shite that he is. <laughs> Christ. Aye, he's play shite, I know. Mm. <laughs> well, shite, man. One, it? Well, listen, we're going to attempt to have a Christmas special. Yes. Uh, people have been pulling in, pulling out, pulling out of the camp, but we've we've decided we're going to be going with it anyway. And uh, we're going we to. We need to do it anyway because we're announcing the one of We need to do that. Yes. We need yes. to do that. So, listen, folks, write, like, rate, subscribe. Uh, tell your friends, tell your enemies. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. And I'll tell you something just now as well. We've got a bit of news that's going to be coming out soon. And what a bit of news this is going to be. So, keep listening. Keep going on to CBD Oil Scotland. And if you're ever in an accident, a ch 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 one hundred, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred percent of your claims, G4 claims. If you've been in an accident that hasn't been your fault, perhaps you've stopped at a set of traffic lights and someone, Stevie Wonder perhaps, has gone into the back of your car. It's not been your fault. Get in touch with Nicole and the gang. At G4 claims, you can reach them on 01698-767-172. That's 01698-767-172. If your car needs to be turned into the garage and you need a replacement, they'll give you a like-for-like -like vehicle replacement. So don't worry about that. Yes. Certainly don't worry about that. But also, Nicole and the gang are tremendous idiot weight from start to finish. You do not touch your own insurance. Don't contact your insurance provider. Don't. Because you'll pay through the nose for that. Whereas you get 100, 100, 100, 100, 100 percent of your claims. G4 claims. G4 claims. Not at fault claims. Maybe easy. easy. Hey folks, that's been a pint two shots for this week. Had to come back to record this wee bit because we forgot to record this wee bit at the end. Aye. Gredo was vaping in that. Aye. See that? Looked like. Grass. <laughs> Maybe he likes a grass though. Wait, have you ever grassed on anybody before and you've regretted it? <coughs> have I ever grassed on anybody? I don't think I have ever grassed on anybody. Mm. Even, yeah. even when I was away. I remember getting involved in something. Today we, I, 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 I was nearly attacked one night. It's like Asda. That's when you're a red coat. No. Oh, fuck, I'll tell you next week. No, <laughs> oh, you can't do that. No, because it's, it's, it's stupid. But I, I didn't know that if you gear, oh no, because the guy's still on the list. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I seen, see if you're watching, you never mentioned Jim. You never, no, and keep your eyes peeled for the Christmas special. See you later. <laughs>